You know, I have to say here that I watched that AEW show last night, and there was a lot of stuff happening. They do a lot of stuff on their show, and uh, 90% of it actually leads to matches, so I'm, I'm not complaining. But it was funny. If you just imagine that you're a random person, which of course for me is very difficult, but if you imagine you're just a random person and you're watching these two shows and you watch Raw on Monday and then you watch AEW on Wednesday, if I was just a random person that didn't know anything, I would be like, how come AEW has like four times the number of people under contract that WWE does? I watch that show, and there's like a million people on the show, and I watch Raw, and there's like the same people wrestling in three different matches on the show. It is, it, I mean, and the funny thing is, WWE actually has way more people under contract, but you would never know that if you were just a normal person watching the show. It's, it's amazing how few people work on Raw and SmackDown. We see the same matches, the same matches over and over again. Dave was uh, doing the Raw ratings recap last night, and he was talking about how, uh, you know, it was low first hour, and that was unusual, and he's talking about all of this and that, and then in the ratings report he wrote, it was like, there was no explanation on television for the low first hour. And I thought, you know, I got an explanation. How about they had one match announced... And it was the same match we saw the week prior. That was literally the only thing they had announced for the show was a rematch of a match the week prior that ended via disqualification. No wonder nobody tuned in. So anyway, yes, I'm, I'm looking for a happy medium. I don't need to see 85 people on a two-hour AEW show, but I also don't need to see the same people wrestling three matches on a Raw show Monday because it seems like you only have 25 human beings on your entire roster. That's what I got out of this. This shouldn't be that difficult, should it? On either side, to be honest with you. Should it be that difficult? Especially on WWE side. It's, cr it's absolutely maddening to me. And NXT does bring in different people, but it's, you know, SmackDown's a better show. But they still suffer from the same issues oftentimes as Raw does. And they're at least two-hour shows. Raw's three hours. There is no reason that you cannot fit these people in there. And conversely, when it comes to AEW, when you have so much programming and you have, you know, when it comes to at least the, the streaming stuff with Elevation and Dark... There is a way to temper your hand a little bit when it comes to Wednesday nights, because I do think too much goes on. And I understand that most of it, most of it does lead to something. But still, it, it, it's I understand the idea that those shows from WWE don't elicit any excitement. They don't elicit any buzz. We want to be the show where a lot of stuff is going on. And I understand that this generation can take in its content at a much more rapid pace and does not necessarily all the time have the same type of, of, uh, you know, patience when it comes to, you know, writing out stories and things like that. They like them in a lot quicker fashion. They like them in a little bit of a different form, but, Again, like you mentioned, there's a happy medium here where you can t temper it back, you can dial it back a little bit, and actually get just as much accomplished. It drives things home even further. One of these fellows here said, well, you know, it's easier to have a full roster when everyone isn't out with COVID. Listen, sometimes that is why there is nobody on Raw and SmackDown. Sometimes there is an outbreak and a whole bunch of people are not available. But that is not the case this week. There was no outbreak this week and everybody was available, but they keep just using the same guys over and over and over again. And, I mean, to be fair, kind of, I mean... The last two weeks, they did way better than I expected. And so maybe they just concluded, man, we did better than expected with, like, the same 30 people on the show. Let's just keep doing it. Which, I mean, that stopped working because you can only watch a three-hour rerun so many times before you're like, bro, I've seen this match before. I don't need to see it again. Let's let's get some... You know how I many people are working main event that you never even see on Raw and SmackDown? Like, yeah. why can't they work on Raw? Is it that bad to have a Ricochet versus Ali match on Raw? Back in a moment, Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions 
of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.